Hello world, uh, this is Chris back from PCWizKids.net with another video of Microsoft Office 2010 Customization Part 2. Uh, today we're going to do Microsoft Outlook 2010. Uh, a lot of people, uh, particularly students, don't use Outlook. Um, I think that's due to the fact that they're not quite sure what Outlook does. Um, so I'm going to show you how to customize the Outlook to retrieve all your emails. Uh, <clears throat> and the purpose of that is quick access to your emails. You can uh, check your emails, reply to emails, send emails without having to actually go to the internet, type in your website, then log in to Gmail or Yahoo. Um, so let's get started. Uh, first thing you're going to do, uh, you're going to go to uh, your start menu. You're going to click on Control Panel. Uh, if you have Windows 7, typically it's going to look like this when you first click on it. Uh, another customization is you can change the view of your Control Panel to large icons or small icons. Uh, I particularly like large icons. Uh, then you're going to find Mail. Your Control Panel is in alphabetical order, so it's from A to Z. So look in the image, you'll find mail. Uh, once it comes up, you'll see email accounts, data files, and profiles. You will click email account um, if you're only going to use one profile. If you have, if you're like me, you have multiple emails, this isn't the best choice for you. Um, the easiest way is going to profiles, click on show profiles. Uh, you see I have two already. But we're going to add another one uh, so I can show you guys how it works. I'm going to add a Gmail account. Uh, you can add your Gmail, your Yahoo, your Hotmail, your AOL accounts. Uh, pretty easy. You just click add. You name your profile. I want to name mine uh, Gmail. Um, you can name yours whatever you like. I'm gonna name mine Gmail dash space seven just to show you how it uh, it can work. Once you click that, it's gonna ask you for your name. You now you put in your name. Now you guys know my name. It's Chris Huntley. Uh, you put in your email address. My Gmail spaceship seven at gmail dot com. And the password is gonna be the password to your email now once again if you have a gmail a yahoo hotmail aol account this is pretty much only all the information you're going to need to get set up so from here you would click next and outlook would configure your email server settings for you uh, once this completes um, you click finish and uh, we'll be good to go. Um, don't get worried if this takes a minute. Uh, Outlook does have a lot of internet service to run through to find these settings. Uh, in the meantime, if you haven't checked out my Volume 1 customization for Microsoft Office, check that out. Uh, show you how to change your background colors. Also, if you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, just go to YouTube, type in uh, PC Wiz Kids Net. That's my username. That's P C W I Z K I D Z N E T. You also can check my website out at pcwizkids.net. Um, I have a lot of tutorials. I have a lot of information for you to uh, be a little more computer savvy um, instead of having to go to Geek Squad all the time. Um, Alright, looks like we're almost finished. It says our your IMAP email account is successfully configured. Some will say pop three. Um, don't it makes no difference either way. You're still good to go. You click finish. Uh, you you close this out. Click OK. Leave the uh, leave it here as usual. Uh, if you have one, you can click on always use this profile. If you have multiple, you might want to keep it on prompt, where it asks you which one do you want to open first. Click OK. Close out of your control panel. 
we're gonna go back to Outlook as you see it prompted me and we're gonna go to Gmail the one I just created um, if you ever do have it at this stage where you want to just have it open up one by default you can click options and set as default profile um, I'm not gonna do that but now it's open so now it's retrieving all my emails um, you're pretty much good to go from here uh, you can click new emails to create to send an email to someone or create a new email you can reply to emails you can forward emails things of that nature um, stay tuned for another video and I can show you guys how to uh, customize your outlook on features